This is part two of the best of 2013 products and in this category I'm going to talk to you about some body care, some hair care, some tanning products, so kind of beauty related things that are not makeup. And I love kind of all aspects of beauty, I kind of don't discriminate. I do love makeup, I do love skincare, but I like kind of tanning products as well. I enjoy kind of every aspect of beauty. So I'm going to get started with facial skincare first of all. And I've got a couple of kind of interesting products here. The first one is the Ren number one purity cleansing balm. Now I'm a huge fan of Ren products in general but cleansing balms are something that I've been using a lot more of this year kind of religiously at least two to three times a week I'll use the cleansing balm and this is my cleansing balm of choice at the moment. I really like it and it smells amazing as well and I used to kind of think that Ren skincare was very expensive but I actually think it's pretty affordable. Um, I don't know kind of why I had it in my head that it was really expensive. It isn't. And then I've also got a kind of couple of face masks here that I've been really enjoying. Again, face masks are something that I use religiously two, three times a week. And the first one is the Miruyuma, Miruyumama, I can't, I can't pronounce this, I'll just write it down in the down bar for you, but it's the Skin Brightening Exfoliating Peel, and this is kind of the strongest facial peel I've ever used, it really does kind of rejuvenate your skin, your skin is left red, but you've got no dead skin on your face, and it just works really effectively, and then the other one is just this kind of nice clay mask, and it's the Emmy Spring Clean Cooling Clay Mask, really nice, um, just kind of a kind of traditional mask, it's green, so you kind of feel a bit like, you know, you're having a pyjama party, and it just leaves your skin feeling very nice and clean, and it kind of smells lovely as well, it smells like lemonade. So that's kind of face masks. Then I've also got a ex an exfoliator that I've really enjoyed this year, and this is the Cordily Deep Cleansing Exfoliator, which looks like this. It's kind of a nice cream exfoliator that's really gentle, yet, um, effective. It doesn't kind of scratch your skin but it doesn't make it feel like you're not doing anything. It's a very very nice product and I've kind of tried a lot of quarterly products this year and I've really enjoyed all of them. And then I've also got a toner and this is something I've actually repurchased and this is the Enspire Vitalizing Vitamin Toning Mist. I've changed this up, I was using kind of a balancing toner during the summer but now it's getting a bit cooler, my skin's getting a bit drier so I've been using this and I love it. It's £2 from Asda. And then I've also got sunscreen here that I really like and this is the Emmy Skin Shield Daily Moisturiser with an SPF of 15. Really lovely, it smells delicious and it's got a kind of good SPF for kind of cooler weather. I wouldn't use this in the summertime, I'd use a higher SPF but for the winter this is fine. And then last but not least I've got a kind of facial skincare tool and this is the Body Shop Facial Massager which looks like this and you basically kind of roll it on your skin when you've got like a facial oil or that kind of thing on and I find it really effective. It kind of really makes your skin look glowing and kind of increases the blood flow in your face. Really like it and it's very cheap as well. I think it's around six pounds. Really like that. Then moving on to hair care. I've tried so much hair care this year and it takes a very um, unusual product to kind of wow me with hair care. But this is the John Frieda Frizzy's Dream Curls Curl Enhancing Oil. Really, really nice. Um, it's kind of one of those duo solutions as you can see. You shake it up and apply a bit and it just helps to kind of create a bit of um, definition and smooth any flyaways away. My hair looks a bit weird today but that's just because I um, used a kind of build up removing shampoo because my scalp was just feeling really weird and it always tends to make my hair frizzy. So that's um, that. Then I've also been loving quite a lot of TG products and this is the TG Catwalk Curls um, Strong Mousse. And I really like this, it's kind of nice hold, not crunchy at all, smells amazing and I didn't like the shampoo and conditioner from this range but I love the styling products from this range. And then I've got another TG product that this is probably my favourite hair care product of the year, hands down, and this is the um, Salt Spray by TG Catwalk. I love this, it just smells, oh my god, it smells amazing. The applicator's a little bit annoying, it kind of spritzes out weirdly but I'll show you kind of what it can do. You kind of just spray a little bit into your hair and then if you just scrunch your hair, it kind of just creates such a nice body and just really makes your hair feel lovely and just look kind of that beach swept look and salt sprays are really great for curly hair in general. I've got another texturizing spray here that I really like and this is the VO5 Give Me Texture Tussled Style Spray. Spritz a bit of this into your hair and it kind of has the same effect. The only thing is the applicator of this is absolutely horrible. I really, really, really dislike the applicator of this and the packaging in general is just annoying. 
So I do like this. I like how it smells, but um, the applicator is a little bit of a pain, but I would repurchase it because it's much cheaper than the cheap cheap one. So I just wanted to show you kind of two favorites that are kind of the same thing. And then I've also got some body care here. The first one is the Soap and Glory Slimwear. And I don't think they do this anymore, but you can kind of still find it in random places. And it's just a toning um, body lotion, basically. I like to use these if I'm wearing something really short or a dress and that kind of thing at the beginning of the summer when you're not quite confident yet. Really, really nice and it just kind of um, tightens, tightens everything a little bit but doesn't make you kind of feel itchy and not moisturised which a lot of these products can do. I really like this. I like all of Soap and Glory's body products to be honest. Um, I love their body butters as well. I've also been enjoying during the summer months the Vaseline Cocoa Radiance Vitalising um, Oil Gel and it's just kind of like a gel formula that really smells gorgeous. It smells like sweet vanilla and if you kind of rub it all over your skin just feels really moisturized some people do have a bad reaction to it because of some of the ingredients in it i never found that and i really like it and i would definitely repurchase it once i finished it and then i've also got two body butters here that have been my favorite this month um, not this month, this year. I'm kind of in the mode of like filming a favourites video, but it's a yearly favourites, not a monthly favourites. Get with it. Um, this is the Nip and Fab Pistachio Sunday Dry Skin um, Body Butter. I love this so much. It just smells so delicious and like ice cream and just lovely. And I've been using body butters loads recently, obviously, because it's been cold. And you'll be seeing this video in January when it's even colder. Another favourite is the Body Shop Honey Mania Body Butter. Again, really, really lovely. I love the Body Shop Body Butters in general. They're kind of a permanent favourite because they're just so nice. But those are kind of my body products. And then last but not least, I've got some tanning products because I've discovered some fantastic, fantastic fake tans this year. Kind of Holy Grail products. I did used to think that the Zen Tan Dark Lotion Absolute Luxe was my Holy Grail. Not anymore. The first one that I adore is the Coco Brown um, One Hour Tanning Mousse. I like to use this one, I just want a little bit of a faint glow, not to look super, super tan. So this is something I'd probably use more during the winter, to be honest. But I really, really like this. It dries instantly, it smells nice, and it just works perfectly. I can't fault this product, it's amazing. I've got a full review of this on um, my channel if you want to go and have a look at that. And then another tanning product, which is a kind of similar mousse type, is the Vita Liberate Phenomenal 2-3 to three Week Tan. I don't think this stays 2-3 to three weeks and the application that you'd need to do is kind of just to put it on and then put it on again at night and then put it on again and like do it 3-4 times. I don't like doing that, but if I apply this once, it lasts a week. The colour's nice. It's odorless it's the only tan i've ever used that is completely odorless and let's face it mousse um products are the easiest to use so i really like this and then last but not least my kind of favorite tanning product um has to be the lauren's way now i've tried all the lauren's way tanning products and i like all of them but this is the self tanning bronzing lotion this is really dark it's in the shade darker than dark but it really does give you a natural tan you just look very glowing and golden and tanned it's not a faint color it's very dark um, it's not kind of towy dark if that's what you're worried about it's not it's a really really nice product and I definitely purchase it it's not too expensive either I think it's around 17 pounds and you will get a lot out of it so those are my beauty favourites for the year of 2013. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you have a great year filled with lovely, exciting beauty products and everything you could possibly wish for for yourself. And I hope you continue to enjoy my videos because I know I'll continue to enjoy making them. And I'll see you all in my next video.